Well, it's almost Easter. And at this time, I get a little nostalgic for back in the day when we would be in the city on Easter Sunday in the Fifth Avenue Easter Bonnet Parade. And we wore gloves and big picture hats. Remember that term, the big picture hats? And we dressed up. And it was a time of, of new beginnings and hope and spring was here. So I'm kind of decked out today and I have a few of my present day hats to show you and some pictures of way, way, way back in the day when I was dressed up with the family, all our little kids, the hubs, in some hats I never should have worn. Way outlandish, but, but fun. So join me on this Saturday before Easter, Holy Saturday, and we're gonna have a little sort of a, an Easter parade with a, some hats. And I'm gonna take you outside. I've brought out my spring clothes, some of them, and I have them on the rails. And we're gonna go through some of the new things that I have, like this lovely new blouse that just came two days ago. And I think this might be the outfit I might wear tomorrow. So I'll model a couple of outfits for you. So it's all about nostalgia, back in the day, sharing my spring clothes, what to wear on Easter Sunday for Peyton's little first birthday, my little great, great grandchild. So if you think this might perk your spirits up and get you in the springy Easter mode, stay tuned. What memories do you have when you were Let's say a young child, maybe 10, if you can think back earlier than that, or grade school, particularly right now. My memories are of being home, of course, the week before Easter. It always seemed to be raining half the time, or at least wet or drizzly, but we knew spring was on the way. And that was the week that we would go out, at least I would, because I was the only girl in the family. I had brothers. And my mother and I would go out getting the Easter hat and the Easter clothes. Now in those days, there were no Kmarts, no Targets, no Walmarts, but locally in our town of Montclair, New Jersey, and I lived back East, we did have a, a fairly large department store, what we call downtown, on Bloomfield Avenue called Haynes. Well, you went in there for special things, but but all the other shops were small mom and pop type shops. And we would go to the milliner for, for the millinery, I guess it was called. And it was a small teeny darling shop of just hats, hats all over the wall. And at this time, of course, it was spring, so they were hats that were straw. We call them big picture hats. There were little small ones that would sit on top of your head. I think they were called pill boxes. And then we had the, the ones that grabbed the side of your head and almost always a veil of some sort. Of course, you did have to wear your white gloves. I was still wearing little short gloves, even at our daughter's weddings with my outfits. I loved all that. So my mom and I would go into the shop and we'd look at the hats and we'd try on everything. First of all, we have big heads, so everything didn't fit us. But we picked out some hats and my mother would say, okay, it's time, choose your hat. And I'd say, oh, mom, I like that one. I like this one, what do we do? She said, me too. And my mother loved picture hats. I remember under her bed, there must have been five or six hat boxes, all filled with hats. That's where I get my love of hats from. And I remember one in particular, and it was for a wedding. And it was a beautiful green, a, a, a grass green. And it was straw and it had a wavy edge to it. And she looked gorgeous in it. And she had high platform heels, open toe. I believe this was the forties. and 
they were green as well and she wore a beige dress. I remember her looking beautiful, but all her hat boxes were filled with beautiful hats. She was a hat lover like me. So my, my mom would say, great shoes. And I said, I like this one. And that one. she said, oh, let's get, let's get them all. Well, we would walk out of there always with a hat box with every hat. And out we would go with our hats and go home. So that was part of Easter shopping. And then you'd pick out new patent leathers. And usually my mom and I would sew uh, a new dress for me. She had already taught me how to sew by the time I was seven. So we would usually make a pretty dress. By the time I was in high school, your new outfit would consist of high heels, believe it or not, stockings. We wore the garter belts then. I think we even had the seam up the back. Always a suit, maybe a... Um, a fitted suit with a linen suit, navy blue or something, but usually a pretty hat with a veil. And by the time I got to high school, I had a couple of uh, friends, dear friends, Gail and Willie. And Gail, Willie and I met in kindergarten and we went all the way up through grade school, grammar school, high school, and then we all went off to different colleges. But we lived near each other and went off to school high school every day in Gail's, oh, I forget what she called it, but it was one of those little tiny cars with the wood on the sides. And off we'd go with Gail driving. But, the, but now I'm getting down a rabbit hole. So back to uh, Easter with Easter egg hunts and going to church always. Always had to have a hat on in those days. If it wasn't a hat, it had to be a veil. And just a wonderful day. My father would always cook a breakfast and he had a certain way of making the eggs. He made pink eggs. He always took the bacon grease and kept drizzling it on top of the yolk as he was making the eggs and it would turn the yolk a pale pink. And he always made me my pale pink eggs. But Easter Sunday was a lovely day, a family day. We would visit relatives. I have some hats here that I'm just going to show you. This one, when we had our shop called Romancing the Home, my daughters and I would make these hats out of the horsehair picture hats. Remember them? I could buy the horsehair itself, and that's what these are. They're stiff ridges, and we would decorate them, and we would either wear them or sell them. We also made wreaths, and Romancing the Home was um, antique linens and antiques and all the whites, the beautiful Battenbergs and the laces and everything. So I made this one at the time and I wish we could wear hats these days. Maybe I'll wear a hat tomorrow to Peyton's birthday celebration in the afternoon. I don't know, but this is one. And I tell you, if people wore hats today, I'd be right out there marching in the parades. Another horsehair that I did wear about probably about six or seven years ago. It's it's more of a relaxed horsehair. I wore this to a wedding and I wore a navy blue dress and we went back east to, I believe one of my brother's kids got married. And I love the picture hats. Of course, you always wear them low on your forehead with a, a little tilt. And usually I would wear my hair up. I think just think hats look better when, when your hair is up and back. Here's one that I love. Uh, this is the one I might make wear tomorrow with my outfit. So when you see the rest of my outfit, maybe you'll agree with me. Now I made this, I think last year when I was doing a video on cottage core and I was out in the garden in white lazy clothes and a basket of flowers. And I just felt like making this. I made a wreath. You can see the wreath and I just popped it on the um, hat put a ribbon on it, which matches the coral of my kind of colors are a rosy coral. And this is, this is a favorite hat of mine. It's just so springy, isn't it? And so gardeny. Don't you just love it? I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow. I really am. And maybe pull my hair back. What do you think? Is it a bit over the top? Actually, it belongs this way with the flowers in the front. Yeah. A bit over the top, but pretty. And especially if we're going to be out in the yard, it's supposed to be hot tomorrow. So this would go, if I was marching in that Fifth Avenue uh, Easter parade tomorrow, maybe I would wear this hat. 
another pretty one when I was showing uh, hats. We did um, some hat videos, a couple of them with my daughters. They all uh, showed hats that they love, all three daughters. You, you should probably go back and watch that. Maybe I'll try and put them on. Sometimes I have uh, trouble getting several videos on the in the description box. I hope you all saw the funny one of Moosey getting chocolate and whipped cream all over his face with the uh, matzah cracker cake that went wrong. But this was a pretty one. I think I decorated this for my hat video. And this is a pretty straw hat. Um, don't know whether I got the dip right or wrong, but pretty. I, do you love hats? Tell me if you like hats and if you wear them. I do have a hat that I have saved and I've worn to two weddings, my daughter's weddings. And my mother made this for the first wedding of one of my daughters in 1986. And the dress was too long. This fabric was part of the dress. I did show this, by the way, in one of my hat videos. And she took um, pieces of lace from, I don't know whether it was my old wedding gown, because I've made a lampshade and a few other things from my wedding gown and trimmed all the Christmas stockings of all the girls and granddaughters and great granddaughters with lace from uh, my wedding dress and from their mommy's wedding dresses. And my mother hand sewed all these things on one of these horsehair picture hats once again. And I treasure this hat and I would wear this. Don't you love it? Isn't it beautiful? I feel very Eastery. <laughs> so these are some of my present day hats. And I'm going to put um, a, a video on and make it of clips that I've taken from our collection of old photos. And they are photos of Moosey and I with our little children. Has to be in the 60s, early 70s. But I had Easter outfits on and we were always posing on my mother's stoop, we called it. Back East, you know what a stoop is. It's the the brick steps as you walk out the front door, you go down some steps and they have um, a little landing out. And we were always posing in front of the, the stoop in front of my mother's house. So I will show you some of those funny pictures of me in these outlandish hats. At the time, I thought I was the bee's knees in these hats. Nowadays, I don't know whether I'd wear them or not. Other Easter memories are waking up in the morning and finding Easter baskets all filled with chocolate Easter bunnies and those little marshmallow chickens. I, I wasn't wild about those little things. And then tons of little eggs and, and fun. But I always loved the beauty of the, the Easter basket. Usually a little prize or two would be in there too. And then of course the Easter egg hunt. That was always fun. And then later years, it was just a lovely day of having a, a, a nice breakfast after going to church with the family, always taking photographs with the family, and a walk with my two friends, Gail and Willie, or a walk with my father. My father used to love to walk. And we would walk up and down Ridgewood Avenue in Glen Ridge at all the big, beautiful homes. That was just locally nice. Or we would get in the car, my father and I, and we would take these lo lovely walks, not just on Easter, but a lot of the times. And we would walk up in, in the more um, countrified parts of the town 
where there was always a place called Applegate Farms and we would always stop for a, a great big ice cream cone on our way home. And I, I treasure those walks with my dad too. So Easter was full of hope and it was also the end of your Lenten fast. Usually we gave up something, normally candy or maybe going to the movies. And at uh, noontime on Holy Saturday, that's when you could break your fast and you would dig into the candy or go to the movies that afternoon or something. It was a good time. And then, of course, you knew that the flowers in the gardens would start popping up. And in a month or two, school would be over and the summer would begin. So it was a, a great time. I'd love to hear some of your memories of the old days. Nostalgia. Did, did you wear big hats? Did you dress up and shop for new uh, patent leather shoes and pretty little handbags and things. You know, after we were married and we had children, by this time we had Walmarts and Kmarts. And my daughters, like like me, had the bigger heads and the little tiny children's hats didn't fit. And I remember Debbie throwing the hats down. This one doesn't fit. We would always have to shop in the women's department for pretty straw hats, but always new hats and gloves, even for our little kids. And then with grandchildren around here, we had Easter egg hunts for the little ones and the traditions just went on and on. And the big, big family breakfast with our Easter egg and cheese souffles. Easter's a lovely time. And, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day tomorrow too. I have to share my outfit. First of all, let me show you my um, costume jewelry necklace. My sweet little granddaughters and their mommy, Sabrina, little Megan and Lizzie, gave me this for Christmas. These big flowers of, they're like daisies of different colors, coral and, and white and a little bit of yellow. And I thought I'd wear it today with some old coral jewelry and um, pearl and a coral here and a little bit of, of I'm a little mixture of everything today. But but my blouse is one of the new blouses that I found a new shopping site online. Remember I bought that beautiful eyelet blouse that you all loved from Shein. I pronounced that one wrong, by the way. Debbie told me it was Shine, but it's really Shein. And I love that website. Uh, that's where I also bought the wood jewelry and I'm going back and so do all my daughters shop there and I know a lot of you have found it too. Reasonable and I think quality but I found another I can't remember the name of the site but this blouse is lovely. It's sheer, it has buttons down the front and it has these little um I'm gonna call them bobbles but it's it's a, a lovely I want to call it a soft organdy and I'm wearing it with a pair of pleated long pants in sort of a, a rose coral color that I wore to a wedding a year or two ago, probably two years ago. I haven't had a lot of my fancy clothes out the past year or two because we, we really haven't gone anywhere. But this year, I'm starting. I have the other ones on the rails outside and later I'm gonna take you out and share some of the other clothes that I've brought out that I think possibly I might get some wear out of because Moosey and I do have family events coming up in the spring and summer. And I think we'll definitely get a chance to wear some semi dress up clothes. Here's Moosey outside in his brand new umbrella and umbrella stand. Are you enjoying this beautiful shade right now? I'm just waiting for Easter, but I have a bunny story for Easter. You do? Well, we had six children. We would dye two dozen eggs, 24 eggs. Yeah. And after about a week, what do you remember? This is a linen blazer 
an Adrian Vitadini from years and years and years ago. I bet I've had this 30 years. Love it. And it came with this beautiful sheer shell. The back is all sheer and the front is just the same. And I love this. And I had sort of forgotten I had had it. It was out in the shed and I dragged it out because I think I want to wear it again. It's a beautiful jacket. The style is very classic and it definitely is vintage. I love this linen suit. I've worn this on cruises and whatever, pants, and uh, the pants are nice and slim, fit well. I haven't had anywhere to wear all these things lately, that's for sure. It's uh, a Ralph Lauren summer, kind of a seersucker striped jacket. I think it's navy and white, and um, I've gotten a lot of wear out of this. white blazer from the Orly collection. I believe this might have been a Walmart jacket that I did get online last year. And once summer, real summer, comes here in California, you don't get a chance to wear blazers too much anymore, unfortunately. I believe every summer wardrobe, spring particularly, have to you have to have a couple of great white shirts. And this was that eyelet shirt that I bought on Shein on the website, Shein.com. And I love it. I've worn it several times already. I showed it to you. Everybody loves it. I got this one, a beautiful satin, kind of a, a, a beige color satin. This is from a website too. I'll put it in the description box. And this I'll wear with white pants this summer. I love the color and it's so satiny and soft. This one I've worn a lot and love this, very classic shirt. This is a cream shirt, rolled up sleeves. I love the pleated pockets. And I believe uh, this I can wear with everything. This shirt is a Walmart shirt. You, it, it's really a beachy shirt. It's long, but I've worn it with white pants and it's kind of a, a soft, very soft semi-sheer fabric. Love this one and I wear it open and it's long with white pants and a white shirt. It's a good all white sh look. One of my favorite colors goes with my turquoise jewelry. And uh, this is another very simple polyester shirt. Watches like a dream, and I can wear it with a lot of things. My favorite kimono. Dubby gave me this for a birthday about two years ago, and I love this. Wear it everywhere. And I have several kimonos that I adore. This is a jacket that I got about 20 years ago and I have a black one just like it. It's a chenille jacket. Look at the fabric. It's so cute. It has flowers all over it. It's an off-white and it is one of my favorite pieces. So many of my favorite pieces are old. Dubby gave me this skirt. I've modeled it and I will be wearing this. This was my second choice, by the way, to wear. I love this and I'll wear this with my probably a white shirt, maybe tied at the waist. And Dubby got this from a catalog online. I think it's Maisie is the name of it. And it's from the Pyramid Collection. And just a beautiful, beautiful, sexy skirt. These will be going in. And basically just a collection of semi-dressy clothes. Whether I'll wear them or not, I hope I will find places to go. So I wanna thank you all so much for watching all our videos. I want to thank you newcomers for subscribing. Give us those thumbs up. I love it. Thank you for supporting us. And I hope everyone has a very, very happy Easter. Enjoy the day. I hope you find some kind of a parade to watch or even put a hat on your head and walk in it yourself. Until we see you again next week. Goodbye for now. God bless us all. Happy Easter. He is risen.